Hi, I'm Patrice Drago with the Maryland Federation of Art. We are a visual arts nonprofit organization serving Maryland, North America, and beyond with over 40 member and national juried exhibitions every year. This is an inaugural video. This is a three minute short tutorial designed to give you all the information that you, the artist, needs to either select works that you currently have or to make new works that will best fit the theme or the genre of the exhibition that we have open for entry. We want to give you all the tools and information you need so you can make the best possible selection and give you the best chance of being selected by a professional credential jurors. This video is about our exhibition Digital Directions, which is open for entry through December 4th and will be on display in MFA Circle Gallery in Annapolis, Maryland from January 30th through February 22nd, 2025. So here's the skinny on digital directions. In order for me to give you any guidance on what to submit, we have to be on the same page as to what digital art is. So let's describe it, let's define it. Digital art is any creative practice that uses digital technology as an essential part of the artistic process. Software is used in part or in total to create the final artwork. And this merger of technology and creativity dates back to the experimentation with computer generated images in the 1950s. And now it's gone mainstream due to the accessibility and explosion of digital tools, platforms, social media, and online galleries. Digital tools, screens, and projections have transformed how art is created, how it is viewed, and how it is collected. A great example is a current exhibition at the Tate Modern in London. Uh, it's called Solid Light by artist Anthony McCall and involves the generation of 3D works using the projection of light on a cloud of mist, works that continually change in size and shape. Software packages such as Adobe Photoshop, Procreate, Corel Painter, uh, enable you, the artist, to layer imagery, to use custom brushes and apply and manipulate color. The ability to instantly edit and revise works has enabled artists to transcend the limitations of traditional mediums and, and create art without the need for a studio or massive amounts of art supplies. Just as genetic changes enable creatures to adapt to their environments and give rise to new species, technological developments have enabled artists to, trend, to express visions in unique ways that has given rise to new directions in the evolution of human creativity. Our Digital Directions exhibition, which dates back to 2021, actually grew out of our photography-centered exhibition, Focal Point in order for us to embrace these new branches of a tree of artistic expression. These branches include digital drawings and paintings, immersive artworks, virtual 3D sculptures, 3D printed works, digital animation. We love animation, would love to see some more animation. Virtual reality environments, augmented reality, which includes the interaction of real life objects and the digital world, and the use of artificial intelligence as an assistive creative tool. And a note about artificial, artificial intelligence at MFA, we do prefer that it is an assistive tool and we trust the artist will not use that as the sole creator because if it's a work by the artist, the artist should have a good hand involved in it. So what does this mean for you? You can use software to create or enhance a work um, you can combine your digital output with a traditional work of art. You can pull in one of your original paintings or drawings and take it to a whole new level with digital technology. And I'm sure that you could come up with many more examples and ideas, and I look forward to seeing those. So if you want more information about the exhibition, please go to our website on the link below and check out the description, the written description of digital expressions, read about the juror, and take notice of the times because we don't want you to miss. Again, the exhibition is open for entry through December 4th. So we'd like to make sure that you get the opportunity to, to enter this exhibition. I look forward to seeing the entries and I look forward to seeing you at Circle Gallery. Thanks and have a great and artful day.